Uh, what else are you bringing with you? Nicely loaded. Uh, so I think the next thing uh, that's nice to have is a tripod dolly. Um, and newer makes the ones that I have. I have several of them. And it's simply, you know, some wheels about that big on a kind of a star shaped dolly and the three legs of the tripod screw down into it. And it allows you to roll the Pro 3 and the tripod uh, throughout the space you're scanning. And so if you're scanning a flat kind of space, it's really helpful for that. Um, I use it maybe 40, 50% of the time. So we're, um, we're talking about uh, warehouse, office space, any, anything that has wide open spaces uh, versus in an in inside of a house. It just it's not, it's not a solution yeah. inside of a house. It's right. I wouldn't use it for a house. I've used it for um, a Home Depot style tool warehouse. I've used it for uh, the Santa Clara, I think Hyatt or Santa Clara Marriott was like seventy thousand square feet, and that was kind of meeting rooms, ballrooms, that yeah. sort of thing. So, so Tom, what is the purpose of the dolly? Well, it just allows you to roll it instead of having to pick up the tripod and move it. That that repetitive process can get tiring after a long day. So just the ability to roll it and hit it, roll it and hit it is good. Okay. So this is for your health. Uh, of, uh, of <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know, is there an equivalent term for tennis elbow, Matterport elbow or something if you're constantly picking up the, the, yeah. the tripod? Uh, and, and second, does it help you scan faster? I don't know about scan faster. Um, no, I wouldn't say scan faster. Okay. Actually, sometimes it could slow down maybe because you have to make sure that it's not moving, not rocking. So if you're on an unlevel surface, that could be an issue. You'd have to hit the wheel locks and that adds time. So, okay. so if it's totally flat office, big box, big retailer, uh, this is just going to save wear and tear on your body. Uh, not not that you couldn't do a 10 hour day doing that, but when you start to do 10 hour days back to back, week to week, month to month, uh, uh, it, it may shave, yeah. save your shoulder, your back, your elbow. Um, and, happy and scanner, like, happy life. Sorry? Happy scanner, happy life. Happy scanner, happy life. And, and they're only like maybe 60 to $80, something like that. We're not talking about something that's super expensive. Yeah. Okay, what else? What else nicely loaded? Uh, well, we got shoe covers, um, which is kind of a thing sometimes. Um, we don't hear about it so much these days now that uh, COVID has kind of sailed away for a little bit, but a lot of agents uh, sometimes will ask for them. So we get the, I buy a bulk pack of the blue shoe cover, the booties, and I keep those in my trunk. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I know one time I scanned a, the, let's see, what was it? The, um, um, oh, gee, why am I going to not remember the name? Help me out. I'll, I'll say it. You might remember it's the, the uh, uh, where Martin Luther King uh, did uh, services uh, uh, in junior in Atlanta. The, Ebenezer Baptist Church? Yeah, I scanned the Ebenezer Baptist Church, and only because I was wearing the, the blue booties did the uh, the person in charge say, uh, it's okay for you to go up to the pulpit behind, wow. behind the stanchions. He understood what we were doing, and he really appreciated that if we could go up on the, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to use the right term, um, but behind, up, behind the, the pulpit or up, up, up there. Up, up, up on the pulpit, yeah. behind the podium with a microphone that it would en enable anyone anywhere at any time to be able to see the view of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. It would also give a close-up look. What was behind him was the chorus. Uh, and, and, and that was totally made possible by the blue booties because the 
the the the uh, officer in charge of the museum recognized that I was super respectful of the space, uh, not like any guest just wearing shoes. Yeah. I was literally changing into the blue booties. Anyway, that, that, sorry, is that tour public? Because that's something yes, that it, yeah. it's, a, it's a public tour. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll put a, a link in for those that want to see it. And you won't see my blue booties, but there there was a um, a docent uh, who is blind, uh, and he had his guide dog uh, in the space. So if, if I guess there's a there's a little hidden gem if you can find his guide dog uh, okay. in the space.